Hey, Chili here from the Crypto Nerds. And today, we switched to Ravencoin. What is it? And why did we do it? Dun dun dun! <laughs> Sorry. I want to be like one of those YouTubers that build up all that hype or anything. I'm just kidding. So, one of the things that I do as a miner and as a bot trader and all these things is I have to stay on top of trends and what's going on. And one of the best ways to make profit mining these days is to find the obscure coin and hope that it goes whatever they say to the moon or whatever the nonsense they say is. So uh, I monitor a group of, there are about 50 miners in this group. And I would say that these are the alphas of the mining community. Now, I don't know how big their mining uh, mines are. I'm not even sure if that's the right term. But this group is, they're super dedicated to finding things. And uh, and I'm late to this one because I'm not really great at monitoring things, if I'm being honest. And I wish I got in on this a lot sooner. But Ravencoin, I got into this because I was upset over this. This is the Antminer X3. And it does Crypto Night. The biggest Crypto Night being Moreno. And this got me thinking that if they have figured out how to do this with Dash, which was an X11, and now Crypto Night on Moreno, it is only a matter of time before they start reaching the coins that I profitably mine, or me and Clicks profitably mine. So one of the ways I'm gonna mitigate that is to start searching out coins that make it really difficult for these commercial miners, non-GPU miners, to centralize it. Basically, Bitmain will make a new miner and then sell it for this ridiculous price to unsuspecting people and they'll buy you know whatever five of these things plug them in and the difficulty of it all will go crazy so the group i have i monitor as found in maybe january ish found a coin called raven coin now raven coin is actually quite interesting and has uh, a quite interesting backer but we'll talk about that in a second first let's like look at some benchmarks that Raven Coiner here that I found on Twitter has generously shared with us. And I have a GTX 1060 farm. Your farm may have different things in it, but all of these are interesting when we look at them, what the hash rates are. Now, these are much different than what I'm used to looking at. I'm used to having, you know, 25 or 18 mega hashes on the F. We're used to having, you know, 350 souls on the Zcash. Uh, we're also used to having mega hash on the uh, on Komodo and all these other things, but this one is kind of like in a weird zone. So uh, here you can see the 1060 at the three gigabyte cards, which is mostly what we have, and it hashes between 4.9 and five and a half. So let's just say five and five and a half, and underclocked, which is great because. I like to have our cards underclocked. I don't like stressing these things in mass capacity because they're running all the time. And after you get past a certain wattage, the return on your investment or the amount you make per watt significantly decreases. So we like to keep it in the sweet spot. I'm not sure what the sweet spot is yet for Raven, but here's some cool benchmarks that you can take a look at. So thanks to Raven Coiner for uh, providing this to the community. So the first thing we need to do is go grab ourselves a Raven coin wallet. Now I'm not sure what kind of system you're on, but I put the wallet just on Windows. So I downloaded this and installed it. And I don't know if you've ever installed a wallet before, but this one was actually quite simple. So here it is. And ta-da, it looks just like every other cryptocurrency, Bitcoin clone type thing. And I get it. As a developer, it's just a lot easier using other people's technology, borrowing the technology, and then starting from scratch and making it. So this looks like every other crypto wallet. And as you can see, we started this at, I want to say, 5 o'clock this morning, and it's only 12, so 7 hours, and we've mined 35 coins. Now, I know we'll go over here, and we'll look at the price of whatever the market cap is. So we see that it's at 2.5 cents. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go and sell these coins right now. Because I couldn't even tell you where to sell these. I think it's on some obscure exchange right now. But the fact that it's listed on CoinMarketCap, it's getting noticed, and it has a big whale backer. Um, we saw that the Overstock, which is a pretty big online retailer, CEO has invested 
several million, I believe $24 million into this project. So Tilly, why, why another coin? Like what's, what's the difference between this coin? So this coin does something actually quite interesting. It uses an algorithm that they call X16R. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, now they also say, and this is the big part of it, it's ASIC resistant by design. Resistant, not impossible. Companies, if it's profitable for them, will eventually figure out how to do it and take advantage of the unsuspecting public. But this one has quite an interesting way of handling this. So if you want, I'll link the white paper down below and you can read the whole thing. It's not much, actually, if you've ever read any uh, white papers that involve crypto. This one's only a few pages long, which is actually quite surprising. So the way that these ASIC miners have uh, manipulated things is that all of these algorithms are kind of predictable. Not kind of predictable. They're actually very predictable. So it's actually easy once they figure out how to do it for one currency and one algorithm just to kind of expand that out and make it for another. So X11, once they figured out how to do it for X11, they could do it for all the other ones that follow the X15. But this one does something actually quite interesting. So it's it has 16 different algorithms that it switches between. But the difference is, is that it switches which algorithm goes first and which algorithm goes next in the line based off the last blockchain. Now, this is gonna make it very difficult for Bitmain to do this. They're going to actually have to put a lot of research and development to it, and that might not be worth it to them. So this might be one that keeps them away, and they may focus on others, which is great. So I'm in on this one right now, and this is what I'm going to speculate on, because let's be real, mining is all about speculation. So here you can see that we've been mining. I actually got 51 coins now, and we're mining at... A hash rate of 7.6 mega hash. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure why it's that low because we have three. We got we have our smallest mining rig set on it, which is our I'm not sure what the right term would be. I don't want to say research and development one, but it's the one that we like to explore with. In other words, it's not doing our hardcore main mining, which we do on F and Zcash and Komodo and all these other coins that are much more profitable and we can sell off if we need to. This is more speculation coining. So we're speculating on this coin. Hopefully it goes over two cents. Maybe one day it goes to a buck or 10 bucks or who knows where this coin goes. So this is what we're doing. And um, if you want, you can give it a give it a try. We use mindpool.com. But if you Google uh, different Ravencoin mining pools, you'll find a whole bunch. So there it is. Once again, this is how many coins we got. 35, I think we're owed a few more here. They gonna go through, and this has only been a couple, couple hours, which is cool. You know, when I first get into a coin, the part I like the most is that you're actually getting not bits of a coin, but getting actual coins. So when these things do skyrocket or do make a movement, the movement is much more significant to you. Like, if you bought a, a piece of a Bitcoin right now and it moved whatever 5%, you're not really moving all that much money. So this is fun to speculate. Hopefully this thing goes through the moon We'll have some fun with this one. So our little exploratory Smithers miner is uh, having fun mining some Raven coins. So if you want to check it out, I'll put all the links in the description below. Have fun mining. Stay safe.